got another one. So if you have a mole issue in your yard, you might be thinking, I know I'm going to buy some of these uh, ultrasonic uh, deterrents that beep and keep them away. You might think, hey, I'll buy this cheap one like this. The, you can buy a two or three pack for 20 bucks. Or you might think I'll buy this, this more expensive one that you, you just have to step on. Um, I have them all. I've tried them all. And I'll tell you which one is by far the best. So I have a mole issue in my yard. Um, I think the first thing I bought were these deterrents. They were cheap. You just stick them in the ground. They're solar powered and they beep and vibrate and they're supposed to keep the moles away. They might have worked, I don't know, because I still continue to have moles. I don't know if it would have been worse or better. I don't think these worked all that great. The next traps I bought were these, um, and I bought them because they were cheaper. Uh, you could buy a two or a three pack for 20 bucks. I'll buy these cheaper ones. They didn't really work. They were harder to set. You had to squeeze them. There's a very small, see that thing dangling there? That's the sensor that trips it. I had them pushed up in the hill so you'd come out and they'd be lifted up. These will just get pushed up. So you'll see a mole will come through and they'll just get pushed up and they won't get set off. Set them high, set them low, I've tried all different things and they didn't work. Out of all the traps I've used, the best one is this one. Now it is the more expensive. You might be thinking, hey, I can get two or three of these and set these up. I'm telling you, this one is by far better and I'll tell you why. Number one, you can see when it's activated. So. This thing has popped up right now. I think there's a mole in there. I set it up uh, yesterday. And you can see when it pops up. These, when they pop, you can't even tell. They just kind of spring open, but you gotta go look at them all. The second thing is, this one is way easier to set. So to set it, you just put your foot down on this, push it down, that's it. You set it in the ground, step on it, done. These, you have to squeeze with your hand, then take this pin, and put that through and set it on the tab. These are a lot more complicated. And the third thing is, which is the most important, this one actually works. This one works great. I've caught way more moles on the big one, the more expensive one. So for all those reasons, it's easier to see when it's set, it's easier to set, and it works better. So this is definitely the better trap. This one is tripped right now. Let's see if there's a mole in there. Yep, there he is. This one did one day. I put it in the ground for one day, and we got them all. There he is, and I'll just flick him away. There we go. So this is where the old trap was. Um, the new trap, I'm gonna put it right here, because I see the same line. Now to do it, you push it all the way down into the hole and then you just step on it. Now that's a good set because that center disc is nice and flat. If it gets cockeyed or twisted anyway, you gotta lift it up, make sure that it's pushed right down in the middle. Now with these, these are way more finicky. That little tab is what has the pressure sensitive thing and it's not as good as that big disc. So I'll try setting both of these. Comparing the two, this one is much better than this one. I reset the traps. This one went off. This one hasn't moved. You can see it's kind of pitched over maybe. So let's see if there's another mole in here. And sure enough, there's another mole in here, and it's this trap. This is the good trap that uh, catches them. So my advice is, uh, yeah, you might be spending 20 bucks, but buy the good trap, not the cheaper ones. They seem to work better.